As an example, I'm going to add a scoreboard and I'm going to set display the scoreboard. And as you can see, to the right side of my screen, it says tutorial world. Hey guys, Jesse101 here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're yet again in our tutorial world because we're looking at tutorial number 20, customizable scoreboards. So yeah, basically, I'll be showing you guys today how to add customizable scoreboards to your very own game. So, as an example, I'm going to add a scoreboard and I'm going to set display the scoreboard. And as you can see, to the right side of my screen, it says Tutorial World by Jessa101, Discord, and then that. And that's the code of my Discord if you do want to join it, by the way. And then it also says 20 plus total tutorials and then sub for free cookie. So yeah, basically I'm just going to be showing you a clean way to make customizable scoreboards in your own world. Basically by using this method you can add scoreboards that says basically anything to your own worlds. And yeah, let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so for the commands uh, I'll just get right into it because there's not too much to explain. You can see to the right of my screen that it's a custom scoreboard and that's basically all you need to know. There's not too much explaining to do, so I'll just get right into the commands. Okay guys, so first things first, you want to add the scoreboard. And I wrote slash scoreboard objectives add display dummy tilde. So display is the name of the scoreboard by the way. Tilde space hunger bar emoji space tutorial world and hunger bar emoji. So I use this color code symbol to make it um, bold, which is big, and also and also orange. So yeah, basically guys, if you want these emojis in your own world and you want to know how to use a color code symbol, etc., I'll have a link in the description for all of these if you want to copy and paste it and all of that into your own worlds. And yeah, so basically there's a there's a link in the description if you want to get these emojis for your own customizable scoreboards. And for the actual color codes, I'll also leave the actual color codes in the description below. And then if you want to remove scoreboard, this is useful if you don't want the scoreboard anymore being there. Or if you just want to remove it whilst testing, you can just remove and add it back again. You simply just need to write scoreboard objectives remove display. And yeah guys, basically for the add scoreboard, you can add anything in between the brackets. I didn't really say mention that before, but you want to keep all of this the same. And then you can change anything in between these brackets. That's a bracket, but it's like kind of blurred out because of the boldness and the orange but that is another quotation mark why am i saying brackets yeah i'm saying i mean quotation marks but yeah um the other reason is guys that i have spaces right here it's basically just to make the the like actual wording more centered on a scoreboard and it looks easy on your eyes so that's per personal preference you don't necessarily need to have these spaces but i have these spaces in between just so it looks a little bit easier on the eyes and yeah and so it's more centered and then guys, to set display the scoreboard, which is to basically show it to the right of your screen, you need to write this, scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar display. And yeah, so these three commands are also impulse, unconditional, and these redstone, zero delay and ticks. And with these commands, you can also just write in the chat, they're pretty straightforward. Because yeah, you generally you only need to use these commands once, but if you are using these commands multiple times due to testing purposes, I would recommend to just have it in easy to access command box. Okay guys, and now for the actual customizable bit of this scoreboard. So this is how you add your own special text to your scoreboards. So as you can see to the right of this to the right of my screen on the scoreboards, every single thing has a certain number value. So for example, the by Jessa 101 to the right of that word or, or, or to the right of those words, sorry, it says four. And then for the Discord, to the right of the Discord, it says 3. To the right of the 20 plus total tutorials, it says 2. And for sub for free cookie, it says 1. I'll explain this, guys. So basically, for example, for the first one by Jester101, I use this command, scoreboard play is set, brackets, by Jester101, brackets, display 4. And yeah, 4, basically... Four basically is the scoreboard value so we're setting a fake player basically no player would actually have this name in the game onto the scoreboard and we're giving them a scoreboard value of four 
So basically, since it's higher than the other values, it's the top one on the scoreboard. I would recommend, so it's easy on the eyes, to have it from 1 to 10. And the numbers from 1 to 10 upwards, so it's not really like double digits and it's not as long. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll just recommend keeping it from 1 to 10. Or like 1 to 9, or 0 to 9. 0 to 9 is probably the most optimal weight if you want to use a lot of different words in your scoreboards. And yeah guys, also guys like these two little practice things right here and this thing which actually makes everything small in the text. Which is pretty cool if you want to have a compact scoreboard. I'll leave both of these symbols as well in the description below if you do want to use it for your own scoreboards. And yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty similar trend guys with the other ones. So as you can see, custom text number three is scoreboard play is set quotation marks and a quotation marks there you remember you always have to have the things in between quotation marks or what you want to say um and then discord this and then my discord code so you want if you want to join my discord I, I would highly recommend it just saying and then display three so display is the name of the scoreboard and three is the scoreboard value that you're giving it so yeah scoreboard play is set yada 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 display three and then yeah it's pretty straightforward so for 20 plus tutorials it's yeah just this with display 2 so display is the scoreboard 2 is the scoreboard value to the side of the screen and then sub for freeze cookie display 1 scoreboard play set so yeah etc it's pretty straightforward but I'm just going to show you manually right now if I copy that command and I get a new command block yeah and guys also I have on repeat and needs redstone with 20 delay and ticks you can also have on always active if you want, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But I'm just having it on needs redstone so, so I can easily turn it on and off again. And guys, 20 delay and ticks isn't necessary, I'm just doing it like that so it causes less lag in my world so the commands are executed less often. But yeah, you can do it however you like in your worlds. You can just have it on zero ticks if you want. Or even more ticks, whatever. Basically I'll show you real quick if I copy if I use this command that I copied and I write zero and for example I'm just gonna write okay I guess it'll be big letters whatever it doesn't matter okay so I activated it because it was needs redstone and as you can see it has a scoreboard value of zero and then it's on my scoreboard where the scoreboard value of zero should be similarly if I get it again and I make it display five which is the highest out of all of them because 4 is the second highest and I do this, whatever. As you can see, if I activate it, it's now the top thing on the scoreboard. So yeah guys, really you can go from like 0 to 9 I would recommend because if you start going to 10 for example, you can, as you can see, I need it. as you can see if I activate this, it just it just looks less clean like there's a gap in between the numbers and stuff so I'd recommend 0 to 9 so the gap isn't as noticeable but if you need more than 10 then you'll probably have to do stuff like that but yeah as you can see these score these command blocks aren't working anymore and we destroyed it but it's still there on the scoreboard which is which like obviously sucks but that's why we have these command blocks from before right because we can just simply remove the scoreboard, re-add the scoreboard like this, and then we can just set display the scoreboard once more. And it's as easy as that. As long as these are all active on repeat, as long as you remove the scoreboard and re-add it, and then set display the scoreboard obviously, then it'll always be back where it was before. And yeah, so if you were to add difference player names, technically player names to the scoreboard using different values and all that, you can always reset the scoreboard by just removing it and adding it back. And as long as you have these repeating command blocks, it's all fine. And yeah. Also guys, I just want to mention, since it is the 20th episode, do you know what that means guys? There's an updated download link to this world. So in the description below and probably the comments, there's a, there's a link to where you can download this map. And basically, you can download the most up-to-date version, which is the version with all 20 tutorials, right now. And yeah. So, 
if you do have problems with these any of these first 20 tutorials you can go back and actually check the worlds out for yourself guys and yeah i think it's also good to have a special release date that everyone can look forward to so like i think every 10 episodes does make sense in that regards anyways guys i can't believe we hit 20 episodes or 20 tutorials <laughs> whatever you want to say thank you guys for watching this video and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future feel free to leave a like and even subscribe thank you guys for watching and i'm out see ya